Today we're going to cover an important topic specifically about the clarity of diamonds and what the term I clean means. So we use that term a lot when referencing our diamonds to gauge how visible the inclusions are. So at Lauren B, we work with diamonds in all different clarity ranges, starting from SI2 and above. So diamonds that are in this SI range, SI1 and SI2, and even VS2, these stones will have inclusions internally, but it's important to gauge how visible those inclusions can be when they're not under magnification. So the term eye clean means that when you're looking at the diamond from the face up view, just the way this is, from six to 12 inches away from your face and without a microscope, you would not be able to see any of the internal inclusions. This diamond is an SI2 clarity stone. Here's the clarity grade. And this shows where the inclusions are located within the diamond. The type of inclusions that are in this SI2 diamond are actually clear and they blend with the facets. So under magnification, it's still challenging to see those inclusions. And outside of magnification, without the loop or microscope, this diamond would be an eye clean diamond. VS1 clarity and higher will always be eye clean. 95% of VS2 clarity diamonds are eye clean and it's the SI1 and SI2 range that can be tricky. On a GIA report, this area here is called the plot and it will show you exactly the types of inclusions and where the inclusions are located within the diamond. Some GIA plots will show that there's a lot of inclusions scattered within the center of the diamond, but in real life, they're not easily detectable. The types of inclusions that are scattered within the center of the stone are white or transparent, so they cannot be seen to the naked eye. So this is a huge plus for this kind of a diamond that is SI1 clarity. Different shapes have different levels and standards for clarity. A brilliant cut stone, like a round brilliant, will more easily conceal any inclusions within the diamond due to its brilliant cut facet pattern. Other shapes include pear, marquee, radiant, and oval. So brilliant cut shapes, you can tend to go lower on the clarity since the brilliant cut faceting would conceal the inclusions. An emerald cut stone is a step cut diamond. So because of the transparency of this stone and you can see right into it, we would recommend going VS2 or higher with the clarity. The size of the diamond can also play a role in the level of importance for clarity within a diamond. Here we have a one carat cushion and a four carat cushion. In a one carat stone, the facets are much more concentrated. So any inclusions can be easily concealed within a smaller stone. In a larger diamond, everything is magnified and there's a lot more surface area where any inclusions could be spotted. So it's very important that especially in larger stones that you're able to source something that's eye clean. There are some diamonds that can have so many clouds or graining within the stone and no crystals, but it would create a very cloudy and hazy appearance. We would consider this worse than having a diamond that was completely clean with one dark crystal because when there's so many clouds and grainings, it takes away all of the brilliance and sparkle of the stone. This is an SI2 diamond that has so many clusters of clouds and graining. And this is an SI2 diamond that just has a few crystals within the stone. You can see that the diamond that has less overall inclusions and just a few smaller crystals has a lot more sparkle and brilliance and better light performance than this diamond that has clouds and graining. Here is an example of a diamond that we would not consider eye clean. Overall, this diamond is very clean, but there's one larger inclusion towards the center of the stone and it's black, so it's easily detected without magnification. So this diamond we would not consider eye clean. Our virtual diamond inventory is accessible on laurenb.com and there are design consultants that are available to help you find the perfect diamond for your ring. Thanks for watching.